Hi, hello there. Oh, gonna pull up our sleeves. It is Tom's birthday coming up here on January 6th. However, on the day after his birthday, he is running a half marathon for Disney. <laughs> 13 miles. <laughs> um, so I was thinking he's probably not gonna feel like cake on his birthday. I'll still get him a cake. But I wanted to make sure he had some sort of sweet treat that he would enjoy and is still healthy so he doesn't feel bad for his run. So today I'm gonna be making a fruit arrangement with chocolate strawberries as well as some fruit that's not dipped in chocolate. Fruit arrangements always look so good, but they often cost a lot of money. And so today I thought I'd teach you guys how to do an affordable one. Not just because I couldn't afford a fruit arrangement. <laughs> I feel like I should also mention that I don't have a tripod on this trip, and so hello coffee pot tripod. Um, you will need a container to put the fruit arrangement into, and so I have this little wooden pot, and I'm gonna be painting this white. dry for a little bit and now we're gonna get started on the chocolate. I'm not highly allergic to chocolate but I am allergic to chocolate so I can like still bake with it. <laughs> um, to start out we are gonna heat up some water in a kettle. We're gonna put the boiling water in the bottom of the pan, put another pan on top of that with the chocolate in it and melt it that way. Mainly because the microwave is broken. Also this is the correct way to do it. Now we are going to take our hot water, put it into the pan, the other one and we're gonna bring the water to a boil um, and then add milk chocolate and white chocolate to these two pots. Now that the chocolate is melted, we're going to dip in the strawberries. I'm gonna add some birthday sprinkles to the white chocolate ones. Now taking some wooden skewers, which we are going to use later as well, stick a grate on the end and dip it into the chocolate. So these are all looking really, really good. Got our grapes here too. Okay, let's get started on the next bit. <laughs> We're gonna take the pot we made and a styrofoam ball and put it on inside of the pot like this. And using the skewers, we're gonna put the fruit onto the styrofoam ball. I also found this little birdhouse thing for like a dollar. And so I'm gonna place that inside of here like this pot with a birdhouse stick. And now let's add the rest of the fruit. Pop in there for fun. I also got this little tour chick and I'm gonna put that in a birdhouse. I think this turned out quite cute. Ah. Tom. Yeah? Come in here. Dun da da dun da da. Do you see a gift? Do you see a gift? <laughs> Oh, da, that's da, da. Cute. That one's a banana, but I can't put it on. Oh, that's like the little fruit arrangement you always yeah, do. Yeah, that yeah. You get in the USA. I did a tour trick with a little house because then it's like a pet. Why have you made this for me? It's your birthday in two days. <laughs> <laughs> the reason why I did it was because I didn't. I wanted you to have like a dessert on your birthday, but I didn't know if you were gonna want like cake. If you wanted like a healthier thing to have on your birthday than the cake and save the cake, that's why I decided to make it. Why are those strawberries in America shaped so weird? I don't know, I was thinking the same thing. But what's going on there? It's like... It's like three of them put together. <laughs> Hello. Tom got me this Eeyore yesterday, and now we're gonna enjoy our rest of the time in Disney. Bye! Bye, thank you for watching. <laughs> Bye! Buzz! Buzz, buzz, buzz!